Learning how to control the muscles of inhalation and exhalation makes a tremendous impact on moving energy and information through your spine. Blood flow becomes extremely enhanced without the heart having to work. So on a cardiopulmonary level, you're affecting the flow of blood through the body. So you can make the abdomen firm either by using the muscles of exhalation or by using postural muscles such as the rectus abdominis, which can be firmed either by pushing both hips forward or by alternately pushing right hip forward or left hip forward. So when I do the rolling exercise that I demonstrated called Nauli, this exercise, this is actually four types of movements, four types of muscular contraction. It begins first by pushing only the right hip forward, which tightens the right rectus abdominis. Then I push both hips forward, which tightens both rectus abdominis. Then I push left hip forward, tightening only the left side of the rectus abdominis. Then I use my muscles of exhalation and constrict everything. This has a tremendous impact in blood flow and also on the spine. As I tighten the right side, that pushes the blood to the left. When I tighten both sides of the front muscle, it pushes the blood out to the sides. When I tighten the left side, it pushes the blood to the right. And when I tighten the whole lot as if I'm exhaling, it pushes the blood up and down away from the center. So blood flow is tremendously increased. When I first begin the exercise and just expand the chest with the abdomen relaxed, that will pull the blood up to the chest. And you can know that because if you take your pulse while you're making a thoracic in-breath, the chest expansion will cause blood flow to increase while you're breathing in. Heart, the pulse is seen to increase while breathing in. Because more blood is being pulled up to the heart. But when you breathe out from your chest, less blood comes to the heart, and so the heartbeat slows down. The exercise which constricts the abdomen using the muscles of exhalation, that will push the blood away from this region. But the exercise which pushes the rectus abdominis outwards, that pulls blood to the region. And so Indian yogis are known that they can actually sit in a bucket of water and control their anal sphincters and these muscles of expansion front and back, this movement, which tightens the rectus abdominis, the main spinal flexor, and the action of my hands and my thighs tightens my spinal extensors. So back and front muscles are simultaneously tensed. This type of co-activation causes expansion, and that expansion pulls blood and energy towards this region. So if you were to sit in a bucket of water and open the anal sphincters, you can actually suck water into the rectum into the colon and save a fortune on colonic irrigations. So let me demonstrate again. 